we get some ASMR over here? Like get close? Listen to this. What? What's up everyone, Zach Groves here. I'm so excited to announce that I'll be playing the Minor Drum Festival July 8th in Germany. I'll see you there. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Penny Skeena. Sorry I've been away. I missed you very much. I've been out of the country and apparently there's a cat living in my house now. It's not mine, but she's pretty cute. Her and Mingus have been getting along quite well actually. Anyways, that's not what this video is about. I've been out of the country recently because I've been touring Asia to do a little clinic tour. My first ever clinic tour, my first ever clinic. And I've been sharing a lot of these clips of the whole experience on my Instagram and I've been receiving a lot of DMs talking about some, hey Zach, how do you go from playing in a small shoebox to internationally touring as a clinician? Well sure, a lot of it has to do with working hard on your craft, but I'll tell you what, it makes it a hell of a lot easier when you have a team of people around you that want to see you do that type of thing also happens to be in the same field as you, more experienced than you, it really helps. Shout out Dixon Drums, Mino Symbols. That being said, when I made my first stop in Taiwan, Dixon had a little surprise for me. So sit back, put your feet up, grab you an ice cold IPA or apple juice, and enjoy the video. Roll the clip, editor. All right, so you might be asking, what are you doing here in this random factory in Taiwan? We're here to build my dream drum set, and I'm going to show you how we do that. Welcome to the vlog. Whoa. So this is where it all began, to build my kit. My dream kit. That's maple? Yeah. This is the core of Cornerstone, which in our story... That's a kit I've been playing with for like a year or two now. And that's maple, silkwood, and poplar. But the core of it is the silkwood, which is becoming the story of Cornerstone and the story of that shell and that sound. I think it's zebra drum. Oh, a zebra drum? I got a, um, a snare drum you guys sent with zebra wood in it. Wooden hoops. It up. Now, I'm always telling my students a great quote I heard from Branford Marcellus. Relationships are with people, not with wood and metal objects, aka your instruments. But in this case, I was simping for this drum kit. I mean, come on, I've never been in a position where somebody asked me, hey, Zach, if you could build your own drum kit totally from scratch, how would you like it? We're gonna let that heat and cook in the oven for 10 minutes. This is gonna make sure all of the uh, plies are in force. I'm making my own drum, baby. <laughs> I'm a lover of hard wood. Wait. So naturally, I went with North American maple shells. Now, I love maple shells because they are historically known for the that warm sound. Ah. But I didn't stop there. I wanted some ultra thin maple shells. So I went with Dixon's Artisan Ultra Shell Pack. And this thing, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Uh. Drum nerd alert. One purpose of using really thin drum shells is to get a more resonant and responsive sound. And for me, the way my drum responds to just my physical touch. It's always been a number one priority for me, personally. I guess I just really like sensitive drums because I'm a sensitive guy. Tonight. That way, if I'm on a gig with my band Everything Yes and we need to play some really loud, thumpy, jazz fusion-y stuff, bop, bop, boop, boop. The next day, I might get a call to a bop gig so I can crank the drums up and, and you know, we're, now we're playing bop. Now, let's talk about the actual finish, the color. If you follow my Instagram, then you probably already know what this kit looks like because I've been posting some little sneak peeks here and there. But as for the finish itself, I went with the Neo Mint green color and I wish there was some cool mythical backstory as to why I chose that color, but honestly, I just like the way it looks. I can smell the fumes. I'm getting high. <laughs> the snare drum, however, has a really cool backstory to the finish, but I'll let my boy explain that later on in the video. All right, let's finally check out this drum kit. Oh, this is where the magic happens, huh? Is That's this? Dixon color. That was Greg's color, so we changed the purple. Oh, was it? Yeah. Should I do it? Oh, whoa! That I've never seen that logo. Yeah. Is that an old school one? It, it's an old school. That's a classic Dixon right there. Look at that. Ooh. What a nice blue. I think I see it. Can I go touch it now? <laughs> oh, you found it. <laughs> you want yeah, I did. Assembly yeah. your own bass drum? 
Do I, do yes. I want to assemble my own base room? Hell yeah. What happens if I drop your camera? That would suck. <laughs> All right, time to put on a base drum head and some lugs. I'll show you guys how to tune a bass drum head. Please, man. <laughs> yeah. Very attractive. Nice contrast on those hoops. Just slightly, finger tighten it. Not all the way, but just just enough so the uh, lugs don't fall out. Oh. No particular pattern. It's pretty exciting, I'm not gonna lie. All right, now to tune the bass drum head. Basically, all you gotta do, take your fist and just give it a good fist in. Take your fingers and tighten each lug as tight as you can. You don't need a drum key for this. You better grow up and get some strong fingers, all right? You see the regals slowly coming out? Slowly coming out on this beautiful Dixon Artisan Ultra Thin Maple Shell. It's okay to have a little wrinkles. Now we're gonna take our drum key. Oops. We're gonna take our drum key. Just kidding, we're not. That's all you gotta do. Just finger tighten as tight as you can. Perfect. I actually got that uh, the finger tightening tuning tip from Thomas Lane. All right, next side. Hey Zach, before you put the other head on, pick yes, it up Jim. and show us the inside. You want to see my inside? Introduce us to the inside. The <laughs> ultra maple reinforcement rings. Because yeah. the shell, with the toms mounted on the shell, need a little extra support. So there's reinforcement rings in your bass drum, but not in your tom. They're mm. wide open. Do we know the backstory of the logo? Yeah, it actually says Dixon, D-I-X-O-N, all stacked on the chat. It does. It's a nice logo. All right, front head, same thing, finger tight. Here, I love me some dicks and drums. <laughs> the marketing department is starting to cringe. <laughs> All right, guys, some of the lovely people at Dixon are bringing in the rest of the drums now. And we're going to do a little unboxing video for you all. My dream custom kit for Legends. Yeah. What's going on, YouTube? <laughs> I'm about to unbox my dream drum set. Of course, I had to go with the Neo Mint. They sell this color in the Cornerstone series and not the Artisan, but I was like, nah, nah. I gotta cop this color in the artisan. Now we're gonna open up the rest of the drums, maybe play a little bit. Wait, is the snare drum in one of these? Ah, the snare drum's here too. All right, so first box. Look at this thick floor top. Look at that thing. Yeah. Let's spread these legs. Do you set up your snare drum first or your floor tom first? I usually use floor tom. Floor tom? Wow, it feels like Christmas. Look at that color. Can we just appreciate that first? Look at that. Yeah. 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 Ooh. Yeah. That ultra thin. Get some of that logo action. Yeah. Boy, I got it upside down. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, oh, look at that. Let me close up with that. As you can see, it's an artisan series. Each series of Dixon drums can be distinguished between either the, the label inside or on the air hole. In this case, it's an artisan series. Oh. These are actually for mounting microphone, cell phone, tablet. Oh. It comes with accessories that clamp. The kit comes with two mic holders. Oh, cool. Yeah. What's inside this bad girl? Hmm. Ooh. Black rinse? Yeah, you asked for black hard. I forgot. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So guys, this finish is actually quite, quite rare for now. There's something very special about it, but um, I'm not smart enough to explain it. So I'm gonna let Jim do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, this is this is the first. It's a little sneak peek. Sneak peek. So we came up with a finish treatment called mulberry, and there's actually a mulberry skin from a mulberry tree 
that's widely grown here in Taiwan. So exclusive to Dixon, what we do is we take our regular shell and then apply the mulberry skin and then apply whatever finish. In this case, it's black reverse burst. And then we lacquer it so it's perfectly smooth. And it just creates this one of a kind. Each drum is different like a snowflake. So this is gonna become a color choice in Artisan. And it's gonna be called, we call it PMT, paper mulberry tree. Mm. So in other words, we'll offer mulberry finishes, but then in different finish coats. Yeah. Possibilities are endless. So it's almost like an art, a work of art. So congratulations. Thank you. And thanks for the inspiration. It's a huge honor. Beautiful man. Beautiful. Beautiful <laughs> drum. Look at that. I'm excited to play this. Let's set it up and see how it sounds. We're not even gonna tune it. We're just gonna play it right out the box. Cause that's what I do with the Cornerstone. The Cornerstone series kit, that was the first kit I've ever pulled out of the box and liked the way it sounded. One year ago. Completely out of the box, not tuned or anything. out the box. So after I finished simping over this fine ass kid, we set it up with some symbols. There she is. And I don't know how, but every city we went to in Asia, Mino Symbol showed up with my exact symbol setup. It was awesome. But anyways, we took the drum kit to another part of the factory where we did a photo shoot for Dixon's website, I believe. I mean, I've never been the most photogenic guy, but check out some of these photos. <laughs> <laughs> now let's stop hearing the kit through this crappy camera audio. Let's get it mic'd up. The Dixon guys wanted to try something a little different, so we filmed a video surrounded by these towers of just drum shells, and I just thought it was a really cool visual, so here's that. Again, these drums are still straight out of the box. Wait until I have them right here with some coated Remo heads on them. Now, I was gonna save this next clip until I post a full Asia clinic tour vlog, but we ended up visiting the top studio in Taiwan called Megaforce, where we did another video shoot and I was just playing songs from my band, Everything Yes. Now, I don't want to give you too much because that's going in the next video, the Asia tour vlog, where we visited Taiwan, Malaysia, and Japan. So you better subscribe. You don't want to miss that one. There's a lot happening in that video. Bro, what did Yo, you guys just we bring? Got the Minos, bro. Mino, Mino, Mino. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, my question is how do you make love? So by now you're probably wondering, yo, Zach, where's the drum kit? Why isn't it set up in your house right next to you? Well, apparently it's really expensive to fly an entire drum kit back home from Taiwan. Trust me, I tried. But it is going to California next week at the NAMM show, and then we'll be reunited. And then I'm gonna come to the California NAMM show as well, where we're just gonna hang out at the Dixon booth, play some drums. So if any of you are gonna be in town, come hang out at the NAMM show next week. I might even let you bang my drums like some sort of drum cuck. Until then, I'll see you on the next one. Hey, get close to me real quick. Hey, it's me. 
Goku, subscribe to Zach Grooves, or else I'll Kamehameha that ass.